good kitten internet, as it says right below me. Um, I'm just about where we were before when the game froze, but I wanted to show something because Cecilia got confused in this last battle. And there's an interesting thing that happens when you're confused when you're on the map. So let me switch to Cecilia, then I'm going to move up and move left and right. And now it's confusion's gone. It messes around with the controls, which I find interesting. I like that little bit of um, gameplay and mechanic segregation or integration, not segregation. Usually it's segregated. Anyway, not much has happened other than Jack leveled up. Okay. And I'm about to enter back in here again. This is where the game froze last time. So. Honestly, Shriekers aren't that bad other than the actual Shriek. So Shriek actually causes random status effects. Paralyzed and forgetful? I'm sorry, that's just not gonna stand. I actually... This is actually really bad now that I think about it. Okay. We're going to Mystic Heat Solve. Rudy is going to use... Is it Pinwheel for Forgetfulness? No, it's Toy Hammer. So Forgetfulness that effect means you don't gain XP. And screw that noise. So the reason why I missed the heal solved is air er, heat solved is the event that they shrieked again before she got to go. It was an unlikely situation, but not zero. Yep, I've learned my lesson. I'm just gonna use magic to kill them all really fast. And toy hammer, flap. Hey, look, he's no longer forgetful, and he's got some force power, and he's gonna bust them sonically. Bustin', 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 bustin'. But uh, anyway, sorry. Um, I guess I should have actually just Mystic Blue Circuit lit instead, then I wouldn't use the item. Oh well, a bit late now. I'm actually going to Mystic Heal Berry, and Rudy does not have enough to summon Guardian. Drat. I was hoping he would, because Guardians are fun. Pew, pew, pew. Bloop. Mystic! Hillberry. Yeah, if you can't tell from what I'm wearing, this is the same day as the previous recordings. I just felt like playing. We're just going to kill you fast. Although it'd be fun to summon Guardian, it's not going to happen. It's going to be dead well before then. Don't worry, you'll see Guardians soon enough. Alright, so now we're back where we were before. I, I remember that we actually lit these on fire before, but that's it. Hobgoblin, two shriekers. I don't care about the Hobgoblin, to be honest. The Shriekers are obnoxious. Okay, good. None of them screamed. Myconoids are a really interesting... I'm not actually sure where Myconoid lore comes from. As in, obviously, they're references to something, and I know them from D&D and video games and so on, but I actually don't know what they're originally from. Doing zero and getting counterattack for 78. Yeah. Cilia, you're just gonna defend for a while. Oh, I get to use a guardian. Let's see what they look like, shall we? Let's just do it three times. Why not? It's not gonna survive the first one. Fingalon! 
I actually don't get to see that one very often. So they're basically FF summons, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Only they don't have a very long summon sequence. In fact, that's actually faster than some attacks in the game. What am I doing on hit points? Okay-ish. Not doing the greatest. Light some things on fire. This is where the game froze before. And now we're in new content. Hooray! Sun Kitty's right there. He's just perched next to me because he's adorable. Thump. Thump. They really want it. That really looks like something I can bomb, doesn't it? Oh, so I finally made my list of rare items, and I've already missed some crest graphs. Figures. But it won't be too much longer before I can just, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, head back to where I was so I can go search for things again. So, Guardian attacks hit everything, or all enemies, I should say. So I usually, I don't have to worry about, like, whether it's a group or single targets or so on. Which is nice. Spark. Bah. Honestly, I probably didn't need to spark them. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of magic fast on Jack. Pew, pew, pew. So in theory, Jack's parry rate should be 10%. It feels a lot higher than that, though, so I don't know what's going on. Well, they're dead. And they're dead. The end. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Really leveled up. Once I'm slightly higher level, slash if I could actually buy new equipment, uh, my canoids aren't that big of a deal. There's stats. Oh, wow, his ATP is over 100 already. Nice. That looks like suspiciously like where I need to go, so I'm going elsewhere. Yep. Secret sign. Yes, thank you. Um, I also looked up fast draws, and I was totally wrong as to where the fast draw in question that I'm thinking of is at. You know what? I'm just going to attack. Let's conserve at least a little bit of MP. Um, the fast draw I'm thinking of is significantly further on in the game. I mean, we were actually physically close to it. I might have been able to sneak over and get it when we were back in Milma, but... Eh. Oh well. I don't need to heal right now, so. I'm almost thinking that it might be time for Grindfest. Not for XP, I actually need money rather than XP. Alright, I'm gonna go down first. They're only attacking. That's fine. Yep. 
I mean, I knew they were weak against Flame. Um, so, frequently you won't see whatever, um, summon is attached to Rudy, because Rudy's sorcery is really bad. And it is totally sorcery-based, so... You know what? Let's actually see his summon. Why not? Assuming he ever gets to go. He is, okay. Mama Gold. Meow. Wings of Fire! Which they're weak against Fire, man. But Rudy's sorcery is so low, it actually does 300 damage. I think in Cecilia's hands, I'd probably do 1,000, would be my guess. Yeah. So, um, Jack leveled up again. His ATP is 136. Because of that Vopal Razor, seriously. Um, no, I'm actually going to use Heat Solve. I can't have Jack paralyzed like that. Well, this is obvious. Nope. I thought down was a way that we weren't supposed to go yet, but apparently not. I would really like to stop attacking and being attacked by these stupid shriekers already. Which I can't switch Cecilia's spark over to blast, which is the same thing but non-elemental. So Cecilia's magic's kind of. Uh, I should have just cast flame. What the heck am I doing? Luke, death did. Flame. In case if it's not dead. It isn't. And shrieking. Oh boy! Also, um. Yep, see, that's what happens with confusion. Um, silencing rooting is hilarious because it's a silent protagonist. Doesn't do anything. No, really, it actually doesn't do anything. I don't remember if Guardians count for silence or not. I'm gonna try it. Counterattack! Yeah, I don't know. They jumped. Good. Not that wind is gonna do that much, but it's not spark, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Bum bum. Bum bum ba da da. Cecilia leveled up, and I gained a toy hammer. I'm going to need to cure that silence. Silence is Violet Rose, yeah. Now, can movement from other people help the confusion? No, I actually have to move with the confused people. There. No one's cured. Oh, they're both cured, okay. It was just that I didn't do it for long enough. Okay. Right, proceeding into the dungeon even further. This all looks suspicious. I want to say that there's hidden stuff in this room. Oh, finally, freaking normal enemies. Okay. Cecilia, you're actually just going to heal. Rudy's hit pretty hard at this point. And not to mention, last I checked, she was doing zero damage. So, even if she does more than zero now, it's probably more like one or two. This is the part of the game where you start taking massive amounts of damage, and you don't level up fast enough to compensate. Ooh, Rudy's really at 666 hit points. He's a demon, obviously. Get him! If you get far enough, you can heal yourself.
I really should have a second webcam for Kitty Cam. I don't think I can reach one of my other webcams at the moment. Not without having to get up. Yep, I have to actually face the correct direction to light something on fire, apparently. But lighting them on snow cones? Not a problem. Fire is the answer to all of life's problems, unless you're pyrophobic like me. Actually, attack, attack, Cecilia, flame the other one, Rudy, attack that one. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go find my second camera. I mean, I know where it's at. It's just over here. Actually, where it belongs. Well, that part worked as planned. Cecilia being down that many hit points, not so much. Let's see what happens if I throw in... You know what? I'm going to plug this directly in. Because I seem to remember this camera has some issues with USB hubs. Which is what I'm using right now. Uh, stupid USB superficial theory. Alright. Um, attack. Celia. Heal your... Yeah, you can't mystic. Pretty attack. And while that's going on, let's add in... A third video capture device. Call it Kitty Cam. That one. E. Kitties. I mean, no guarantee he's gonna stay there, but. There! You're a good key. some heal berries. Heal berries are plentiful enough where I'm constantly using them in this game, which almost defies how um, JRPG conventions work for this. Oh, so these are the types of chests that explode. So it explodes when you get it. But if you use hand pan, you don't take damage. Are these seriously all heal berries? Yes, they are. Well, that was... Oh. Right. Whew, that was close. I couldn't control my body for a second. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. We hit one of those rocks, we're goners. So if I use my sword from higher up, it'll always do more damage? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say always. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Maybe it's worth a try. Fast draw gain! That's actually one of my favorite uh, single target attacks. It's usually... And until it dawned on me that I should do one specific one, that was usually the one I dropped to one uh, MP. Because I used it so often. Ah, oh, crap. I'm ambushed. Well, I'm gonna sit here for a while. Got the kitty, maybe. Okay, middle one pickpocketed me and stole an Agile Apple, you... You bastards. Those are limited resources, damn it. Middle one. Actually, no. Let's be smart about this. Break, middle one. Defend. Okay, middle one has not run away. That's all I care about. Middle one's dead anyway. Oh well. Looks like I probably didn't need to use Sonic Buster after all because I'm countering it. Oh, no, I did actually miss that. And disease, because why not inflict two status effects on poor Rudy instead of one? Nope, oh, still only one. Okay. Pickpockets, go away. Never return, please. Cecilia boogies. 
because we got back our Agile Apple. Hell yeah. Okay. First off, I normally like Mysticking this instead, but I kind of need Jack back up. Second off, um, we need to Antidote Rudy. I have plenty of Antidotes, so I don't care about having to Mystic it. Third off, Heal, Heal. I want Heal as well. I have tons of Heal Berries. I don't even care. And I'm collecting Potion... I, it's not going to be too much longer before I can buy Potion Berries. And at that point, I really don't care about Heal Berries. That's not him. Second one, Rudy punched the first one. Question marks. Hey, look, nothing happened. So when that happens, where nothing happens, um, it doesn't cost the any MP, as you can tell. Jack's MP is still 54 like it was before. It just does a normal attack instead, which is nice. You're dead. You're dead. Now we're down to one. <laughs> wow, they're getting slow. Or I should say I'm getting fast, but whatever. Accelerator! Question marks. So yeah, it normally costs 6 MP. Um, yeah, if we're still going, go ahead and Mystic. I don't really need any of those, actually. Question marks. Up oh, here we go. And BAM! Meteor Dive! Meteor Dive does a fair amount of extra damage. That's it. There's no element associated with it. There's nothing special whatsoever. It is just, hey, look, I do damage. Now I do more. That's why I like it. Because it's very useful. Um, so yeah, I have Meteor Dive now. I think I need to arrange. There we go. Just... Lighting everything on fire. Apparently Jack is just a paramaniac or something. I don't know. I should probably put back on my headphones. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of MP. I think there might be a boss at the end of this dungeon. I don't remember. Claim you. Attack you. Defted. Hobgoblin attacks, does lots of damage, and a shriek. Ugh. Okay. You're still dead. I'm gonna have to cure Jack's silence. You know what? Just die, please. Or, you know, you might just die before I get a chance to go because Jack randomly attacked correctly. All right. Let's use. So, yeah. Not to unjack. Cecilia is still confused. Cecilia's no longer confused. Okay. Light everything on fire again. And I'm up here. That's a quick jump down. To go back, if I remember correctly. I think. I think there's a safe point over here. Do you actually do enough damage to just kill them outright yet? That'd be nice if you could. No. Dang it. Probably pretty close. I don't remember what the scan was on their hit points. Hope you're enjoying the watching zone clean himself vision. I know I am. Little pink toes. Toe beans. Very cute toe beans. 
And die. Die to die, 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 death did. I keep not positioning myself well because I want to sit back so I can be closer to the kitty. I want to say that here is a safe point. Nope, this looks like plot. I don't want plot. I want other things. It's been too long since I've played. My memory is starting to... Okay. These are easy enough to fight. I'm not concerned. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, never mind. And you're dead. Herc! That was the weird thing about them. They actually have the ability to do instant death. That's what it was. So Jack's not getting any XP for this battle. Because Cecilia can even kill them. No, she can't. I take that back. Herc. Stabbed. Alright. Five, Jack. Kill. Bing ducky. Fortunately, they don't come back with very many hit points. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry for the arm in the way. I had my headphones over there. And as per usual for JRPGs, if you're unconscious at the end of battle, you don't get XP. Hmm. This is where I came from. Shrink device binds the doors. Ah! Deva Nova? I don't remember this. Punch it. Analyze it. Twist it. Turn it. Bop it! Anyway. Analyze! What are you? Level 17. You have a lot of hit points. You're weak against water. Good to know. That means you're probably going to do fire attacks, aren't you? Ow. Uh, so apparently freeze does the same type of thing. Fire breath. Ow. Your guardian is wind. It's probably okay. Your guardian's the f water one. Unfortunately, I don't quite have enough yet. Um, we get to another turn, sure. And then your guardian doesn't matter because it's fire, thus I'm going to hand cannon you. Bang! I are fast. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. At that time, it didn't desync. Ow. Bang. And you're dead. 300 XP, 500 Gala, though. Nice. Hmm. wonder if this is one of those... Um... Whatchamacallit, uh... They're only in this one room and nowhere else type of thing. Oh yeah, I should heal. What is in here anyway? This is the type of thing where this is a special item. Okay, you've got another one. Sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna meteor dive you. Freeze and punch. Meteor dive. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know how he's jumping so high. Just saying. Oh wow, that desynced even the game on this side. I have no idea what's going on. It stopped. 
Let me unplug and plug back in the HDMI cord, because that usually fixes it. Unplug. Plug in. There we go. It's fixed on my side. Hasn't resolved on the TV yet. There we go. I have no idea how much damage I did. Oh well. Punch in the face. Celia is really low on MP at this point. Punch in the face. Arm lock on, punch in the face. So yeah, you get more force points by attacking than you do by defending or casting spells or anything else. That's why sometimes I'll attack with Cecilia anyway, even though it doesn't do much damage. Brutal attack. Is Cecilia down? No, good. I'm fine for now. Cecilia, on the other hand, can now summon Stoldark, which we haven't seen yet. Are we going to see it? I don't think that's going to kill it. No. Still dark! I burp bubbles at your face. Or your stomach in this case. And it does 1,158 points. Do you understand why Cecilia is so overpowered with things that are weak against magic? Rudy leveled up. That's good. There's new Rudy. Ooh, my luck is bad. Let's fix this. And Mystic Word. All right, this is the first of Cecilia's accessories. So notice that it's increasing sorcery by a significant percentage. Um, I am going to equip that over the Holy Parasol because honestly the Holy Parasol is not doing much good right now anyway. That wasn't a save point. I need to use more heal berries. Okay. Well, notice I've chewed through a lot of them. And that's because I'm using them without using Mystic. So most of the things I'm fighting are evil things like this. Perk dead. Ah, crap. You're killing Cecilia this time. Great. Uh. Five fruit. At least I have a lot of it now. And Rudy, kill. So revive fruit does the same thing as the revive spell, including how crappy it is at actually doing stuff. We're half an hour in and we're still in the same dungeon that we were in the last game. Great. Good enough. All right. <coughs> There's the save point I was thinking of. Thought I was close to it. Okay. So after saving here, I'm going to turn back around and go back down that area. The reason being is that I can't remember if there's an actual item there or not. And I wanted to actually get to a save point first before I did anything with it. Unfortunately, that means random counters in between. But eh, we'll be fine. You know what? This isn't actually that hard. I think the Shriekers are actually more annoying than this guy. Brutal attack on Cecilia. Of course it is. Man, it'd be nice if I can Mystic something to heal myself. And I don't mean a heal berry. You are still doing zero. You are critting. 230, that's nice. Brutal attack on Cecilia again? Yep. Okay, I need to pay attention to that. Yeah, you're gonna summon Stoldark, and that's probably fine. Lock on with a hand cannon if he's not dead from that. E, G, they. 
If the Darken's not dead. I'm pretty sure the Darken's dead, though, because that's over half of its hit points being lost from Still Dark. I wish I could skip the summon sequences. At least they're slow. Or, fast. Still Dark's one of the slower ones, though. Arg. Oh, yep, yeah, you were still alive. Keyword being were. Bye. I just shot you in the gut. Yeah, it takes a long time for Rudy to actually gain a new arm. After looking it up, it's a long time. There's Rudy's stats. New stats. Sweet. Alright, let's fall down here. Yeah, there is an item here. And it is... Press graph. Okay, yeah, that's probably worth doing. If it was something like a healberry, I might... No, I probably still would do it. If it was nothing, I would ignore it. Alright, who's gonna die this time, huh? Since you seem to be obsessed with killing people now when you were just cute, like, Eevees. Mm, Wild Arms 1 predates Pokemon Red, doesn't it? I actually don't know. Hmm. Google will tell me the answer to this. No, it doesn't, but they were probably developed at the same time, because Pokemon Red and Blue were released in 1996, so was Wild Arms. So it's probably not a reference to Eevee. Probably. Okay, well, that's good to know. Time to climb all the way back up again. wonder if this is something I could have gotten on the way back out. It might be. No. You don't need to counterattack those, Rudy. They're already dead. I'm Sonic Buster. Man, it'll be nice when I start getting attacks that hit everything. Instead of group. All oh, some kitties asleep. He's so cute. This brings me back outside. This is not that long of a jump or a walk. Bustin, 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 bustin. Yeah, Rudy blocking tends to drop everything to zero really fast. It's weird. Um, mechanically, I actually like Wild Arms 2 slightly more than Wild Arms 1, but the rest of the game is just far worse. And one of the things I thought about was the fact that you can equip personal skills... Um, which personal skills will allow you to do things like when you block, you don't receive status effects. Which is really handy for those, um, shriekers. Alright, let's save over that slot. That quick round trip took four minutes. It doesn't make sense to do anything else. Since they have the ability to pickpocket and run away, no, I'm not letting them live. And I know I'm wasting a huge amount of magic by doing that. I think this is right about at the end. Oh, I have best luck. Why is my encounter rate so high? All right, two Shriekers I can deal with. Place. Oh, that one's definitely dead. 
Probably didn't need to use magic then. Oh well. Oh, I might not need to. Nope. It has like nine hit points. Uh, that was a waste. Oh well. Cecilia probably could have killed it without magic. See, this is hardly even puzzle-like, because it's not like you need to think. Alright. Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. Hey look, it's more Shriekers, everyone. I'm just going to fight. Oh, good, they're not quite dead yet. Great. Let me guess, both are going to live through this. This round, that is. Although, with that counterattack, maybe not. That Rudy attacks. Yep, nope, they're both alive. Great. And you're going to shriek. Is Cecilia going to kill him? Yes! Good job, Cecilia. Okay, I know that there's a combat here. I hate using magic carrots like that. I know for a fact that there is a combat here. Is this the statue of the god of the seal? Oh, by the way! Boom. It's too late! We undid the... Berserk? So you got be here before me. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Orca Widow, go play with them. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to say Orca Widow. It's a Black Widow. Said so I knew there was a boss there. Uh, would it be weak against an element? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Analyze is just going to give me question marks. Let's just start hitting elements. And you get a punch in the face. Oh, 3D graphics, where the top part of the back part of the spider is just a flat surface. 194, that was not a weakness. Poison! You missed. Meteor dive. Let's go down line. Vortex. Punch in the face. Not or not wind. Got it. There's a lot of elements in this game. Poison! You also missed. Meteor dive. Um, I'm gonna assume it's not break. Let's try freeze. And you're going to arm lock on. Poison! You still haven't poised anyone. This boss has not done anything so far. It's freeze. Got it. That makes sense. Bugs die from cold. And most people think of spiders as bugs. Which means that this is going to do way more damage. I'm pretty sure it's going to die this turn, actually. I've been doing a lot of damage to it. I mean, if it's weak against water and Stoldark's coming in, it's probably not going to survive for too much longer. Is this going to be a boss that does zero damage to me? I'm not even overleveled. Nope, still alive. Oh, it finally attacked. It did damage. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot of damage. Okay. 
Now are you dead? No. Okay. Meteor dive. Freeze. Arm lock on, hand cannon to the face. Capture web. Oh, great. Paralysis. That's what I don't want to see. That's okay, you're dead. <laughs> it did one attack on me that succeeded. I mean, I don't really count the paralysis. Oh, I probably could have used Lucky Card on this. It's only 300 XP, it's not bad. I mean, there were enemies that were giving me that much. Power inside grows weak. The seal cannot provide me with a link to the girl. Summit rune acquired. Told you, there are a lot of runes in this game. The statue of the god seal has been broken. The return of mother is becoming a reality. I can't believe the teardrop is being used for such horrors. I can't believe giving this ancient artifact that's been passed down from generation to generation by family to a demon was a bad idea. There are two more statues left. We must defend them. Give me power! The power I need to defeat them! The power to destroy everything! Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. A horribly desecrated statue of Tenogios. So, well, we need to uh, deal with this situation. Um, Summit Rune is a better version of the Earth Rune, basically. The Nagios. Um, I am actually tempted to do this. Cecilia's been taking a lot more damage, so I'm actually going to do that temporarily. I've never tried trying to buff up. Uh, usually for Cecilia, it's war, whatever has the most sorcery, I'm just going to use that and I don't care about the rest. Fortunately, I don't have the spell Warp to be able to warp me back to the start of the dungeon, which sucks. Of course they are. Bust them. Bustin, bustin, bustin. Pickpocket, don't care. Because I'll get back whatever it is. Since oh, wow, yeah. Lucky card, there are a limited number of those in the game. I don't think you can get a draw. They might be a random drop. Yeah, they might be a random drop, but I know there's a limited number of lucky cards in the game. Might as well save again, because this game is apparently really glitchy. So I started looking up um, for options for replacement PlayStation type things that would have less prob fewer problems. Um, in theory, a slim PS2 is my best option. Or I can buy a PS1 and get a whole bunch of cables for it. So, what I want is to be able to output either component or RGB, or I should say YPBPR or RGB. And what that means in my case is, that's right, Sonic Buster still doesn't do enough damage. Uh, so what that means in my case is that I need to, that was a mistake. That was a pretty big mistake, wasn't it? Great. Anyway, um... What that means, for a PS2, I can just use component cables. That gives me YPBPR and I'm fine. For an actual PS1, PS1s don't support component cables. Yep, good job, Rudy. I... Disease, paralysis, and that one just speeds me up. Okay. Yeah, I want Mr. Killberry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. So for a PS1, it doesn't support component cables. So as a result, instead of having component cable, instead of using component cables, I have to use SCART. Um, Euro SCART or Japanese SCART will both. Uh, you almost hit Cecilia with that. Um. Oh, yeah. 
you know what? Screw it. Um, getting skirt cables is possible. They're expensive, though, because, well, it's not the year 1995 anymore. Uh, I can buy them. But that means buying a PS1, buying skirt cables, and buying the adapter for my FrameMeister. The adapter for my FrameMeister is out of stock at the moment. The other option, um, Itchy Retrovision has an adapter for the PlayStation 1 that allows it to use the Genesis component cables, which I would also need to buy. The adapter for the Genesis component cables are also out of stock right now. Anyway, as I was saying, the um, cables for that are also out of stock, so really going with an original PS1 might not be the greatest of ideas, even though that would probably be the thing that would work the best. PS2s, well, the fat model, all of them have the same problem as mine, so there's not much of a reason for me to consider going with that. Alright, anybody dying this time? Um, so that leaves the slim model of PS2, which does have a mild problem potentially. So the way the PS2 works for playing um, PlayStation 1 games is that it has some of the PlayStation 1 hardware inside of it. Specifically, the, PS2, uh, the fat PS2 and the PS1 share the same audio chipset. So... The sound is going to sound the same from a fat PS2 as it does the PS1, because it's literally the same hardware. Um, what's not the case... And the graphics chipset, all it's actually doing is using the GPU on the PS2 itself, and that's it. Which is fine, because it's close enough to the same hardware, I believe. That's a preemptive strike, okay. I believe that should be enough damage. Nope, wasn't. Great. That was not what I wanted to do at all. That might be okay. Depends on initiative order. Um. Okay, good. The Slim PS2, on the other hand, doesn't have the same audio chipset. What it's actually doing is using the main PS2's CPU and overclocking it. To handle... What's well, effectively PS1 emulation. Now, it's very nice PS1 emulation. Uh, it's very similar chipsets, so it shouldn't be much of a difference. But what I've been trying to do is avoid emulation for this. So I don't know if I want to go with a slim PS2 because of that. Which sucks, because that's probably my best option. Or I can just continue playing like this and suffer through random freezes. <sighs> All I want to do is play my games. Don't approves. Yeah, make sure that I don't have anything in IRC. See, this is my new tablet. Okay, and then just go after the hobby. Hobbo. And it's dead. Replenishing my supply of heat solves. Solve? Solve? How do you say that word anyway? Am I backtracking? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, It's one of those words that I only ever see written down and not spoken out loud. Solve, solve. More Shriekers. Great. You are going to get set on fire.
And death shield. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm a little sleepy. I actually slept well last night for the first time in a long time. I slept nine hours? So I'm kind of surprised that I'm this tired. I think I'm reaching the exit. It'd be nice if I can get elemental damage on my attacks. The only thing I can do is holy and evil right now. It's not easy to get any of the other elements either. You're dead. I'm not. <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure the image was actually still going. He's being a sleepy boy. Aww. Almost done with Mount... Ugh. I am going to have the warp spell learned after this dungeon. Are you capable of killing them all with that yet? No, not even close. Cecilia so can't even knock them out with an attack at that point. Okay. So. This dungeon's boring. Well, I've killed two of them. And that's the third one. Ooh, Cecilia's getting low on hip. Wait, how did they go before I... Stupid initiative rolls. You can boogie, Cecilia, although I'm not sure it's justified. Unjustified boogie. Um, kill yourself. Yep, I'm right toward the start now. So probably two more random combats? Hopefully only two? Okay, these can still kill me. Oh, yeah. You're dead, that's for sure. You're dead. <sighs> mm, I'm tired, still. Because I just mentioned that like two minutes ago. You're dead. Oh, not quite yet. Now you're dead. Just now, I felt the seal holding the Queen of the Demons break. Messenger of Zephyr, please notify the Elders of the situation. We must ask quickly. Are you kidding me? I'm like two steps from the out part, outer part of the dungeon. No area of effect attacks. They're dead now. Oh boy. I think a grind fest may be in order. Since this whole not having enough money to buy equipment thing is getting a little old. Ah, you're dead from a normal attack. There's no reason to shoot you in the face. That's just money I would have to spend. You might actually be dead from Cecilia's attack. Nope. Oh, now you're going last on it. <sighs> 
Celia and Rudy both leveled up. That's nice. Celia? Rudy. Okay. Plot. It's dark. I can't see. I can't hear anything. My precious seek. My children. Let me see you. Let me hear you. Aw, yes! The best character in the series, other than maybe Handpan. <laughs> that was easy, I'll just talk about seals. Who cares about the quarter nights now that Mother's awake? I can go on with my career, glory's up ahead! Crack, 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 crack. Sorry for disturbing you, son. There we go. There we go. All right. It's at an hour. So I'm just going to quickly buy stuff. Heal, save. That's it. Yes. You can show me. I have a lot more money now. You can finally get an upgraded weapons. So that's plus 21 attack. Starting uh, upgrading armor. Yeah, yours needs to be upgraded more. All right. Then let's give you a claim more. Okay. All right. That was obnoxious. Let's go heal. Yes. I'm not of an outside faith. I mean, Jack and Rudy probably are, but Cecilia actually is. Do you actually say outside faith? Yeah, no. Cecilia actually is the same religion as you all. going to stop this here. I'm probably going to record another video immediately afterward, get a nice buffer in. Not to mention Zone Kitty's still there being all cute and sleepy, so I might as well. See you, internet!